Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a video about Omaha Steaks. I know we have all seen the commercials and they all look so mouthwatering and yummy and I for one am curious, do they live up to the hype? Are they as good as they look? What's the process like? How do they arrive? And I mean, I've ordered from food services before, um, if you've seen my HelloFresh video, so I know how that arrives. Uh, way back I did also order from veggie, I, they do the muffins with the veggies, and I ordered muffins uh, way back. And again, you know, they show up in the box with like an ice pack and, you know, you kind of have to stay on top of when they get there to make sure everything's okay. But uh, for Christmas, my manager gave us Omaha Steaks gift cards and I thought, hey, I can do a review. So uh, let's get started with ordering the steaks. I'm just gonna sit there right in the okay. Aha, comes right up. Ooh, semi-annual sale, even better. Hmm, should we go for a value? Oh, pick seven, build a custom package. That doesn't say it's half. Uh, ooh. Okay, this one had me a bacon wrap filet mignons. That sounds so good. Hmm. Now we can go to best sellers. Let's go to best sellers. See what we got. Oh my goodness. Shit. The bacon wrap filet, boneless pork chops, burgers, scalloped potatoes, caramel apple tartlets. And seasonings, that sounds amazing. Ooh, asparagus souffles, what? I'm gonna go for the gourmet steak pack with the bacon wrap filet mignon, the pork chops, the burgers, the scallop potatoes, the caramel apple tartlets, and the steak seasoning. Add $5 and two cents to this shipment to unlock your special deal. Well, there we go. Individual asparagus souffles. Let's check these bad boys out. Oh, that's not too bad. You know what? I I think I want to add this. Do I need it? No, but I, I kind of want it. Oh, I see. I qualify for a free gift. Four more burgers. What? Okay. Those are free. I get the gourmet steak pack and my individual tartlet. I'm not going to add anything else. So it is now time to check out. So my my total right now is about $150. Um, and I'm gonna guess if I look up, you know, the exact price of, you know, bacon wrap fillets and the pork chops. And uh, I mean, the price overall doesn't seem that bad. Okay, and shipping says two to nine business days. Sweet, I'll see you back here in two to nine business days for the best part which is going to be the unboxing and the tasting. I was just eating lunch on the couch. It's Saturday about, uh, it's, it's about noon now, but about maybe 20 minutes ago, the Omaha steaks arrived. So it's been approximately a week. I ordered them um, Sunday. It's now Saturday. So ship time, not too bad. I wasn't they, they ordered a few days before I expected, so uh, let's take a peek. All right. Oh, I thought it this was going to be like a cooler lid. Um, Okay, good. Okay. It is a cooler lid. It was just very tight. Ooh. Ooh, the a cold that comes out of that. Endless possibility. Okay, so it comes with a, an extra 25% off, I guess, to do it again. Let's see. These are, okay, these are the burgers. This is how they come. They look pretty good. Okay. Now I'm just hoping I 
have enough freezer space. Um, it, it came with steak seasoning. Oh, here's the pork chops. Oh, oh, they look good too. They're nice and thick. I can't wait to try these. Um, oh, these are the uh, asparagus souffles. quite yummy and nicely portion controlled. I mean, so far these, the portions are good. Um, okay. This is more burgers. Cause that's, I got the free burgers for my order. This is, oh, this is the, this says tenderloin steaks. Oh, these are the, oh, these are the bacon wrap fillets. Look at them. I cannot wait to try that. Um, and then, ah, this is so, it's so cold. Okay, these are the, these are the potatoes and the tartlets, but can't <laughs> okay so oh, there's the apple tartlet and okay so the potatoes come all wrapped together okay this stuff looks amazing I can't wait to try it so stay tuned for all the tasting I can't wait all right, here we are with the first taste test. Um, it's Sunday, so I went with the bacon wrap filet mignon with the scalloped potatoes and an apple tartlet. Uh, the, the nutrition on the scalloped potatoes isn't that bad at 160 calories. The apple tartlets come in a little bit more, so uh, I may have to exercise to make up for that, but wow, it looks, <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, the instructions, you keep uh, the, the potatoes and the tartlets frozen and then the scalp potatoes you put in a 425 oven for 30 to 35 minutes. The apple tartlets are 400 for 18 to 20 minutes. And then they even give you a nice little cooking instruction for your steak and they, they break it into the rare, medium, rare, medium, well done and uh, the thickness. So they make it easy for you to cook the food. I mean, so far, this looks amazing. And I'm going to have to remember to look up prices so we can do kind of a, a, a price comparison as well. But, um, yeah, I can't wait any longer. Mmm. Okay, they're tender. Now, I did put the steak seasoning on both sides. It recommended that to give it, like, a little crunch. Tender flavorful even without a steak sauce mm, those are good scalp potatoes and I mean I, yeah normally I don't eat dessert in the middle of the meal but for the sake of the taste test let's give it a little a little taste here Ooh. oh that is really good okay so far I am super happy with my choices everything is delicious and easy to make uh, next up will be the pork chops and the asparagus souffles. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you. Okay, time for meal number two, the uh, pork chops and the asparagus souffle. The asparagus souffle was very similar to um, the tartlets and the potatoes in that you keep them frozen until you're ready to cook them. You preheat to 400 and you stick them in the oven for, I think it said like 20 to 25 minutes. The pork chops, I just put a little oil in the pan and cooked like four to six minutes each side. And I put a little bit of the steak seasoning on them and um, they look delish. So let's give a try. I have a better knife to cut tonight. Okay, here we go. 
Mmm. That is a really good pork chop. So let's now a little bit. This, I was curious again, this wasn't in the package I ordered. These just sounded good to me. So my sister said, ew, but she doesn't like asparagus. So, okay, those are really good too. So right now we are five for five in the things I ordered. Next up is the burgers. Okay, and the final thing we're going to taste are the burgers. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have made a couple of these. Um, here's here's the size of one thawed. And I'm going <laughs> to try and eat healthy again. So I think what I'm going to try and do, because they are pretty sizable and they are pretty good. Um, what I've been doing with them is cooking the burger and then like cooking green beans on the side. But tonight I want to eat it as a burger to actually try it as a burger. So I'm gonna cut it in half and make two patties out of this. There was some confusion though. If you remember from the order, I got four free burgers when they came. If you can see, there's five ounce burgers and six ounce burgers. And the five ounce are more caloric than the six ounce. And I think I finally figured out what it is, is one is ground the ground beef burgers and one is the ground steak burgers. Now they both say ground beef burgers, Omaha steak burgers on them. But I think what it is, I think the six ounce ones are actually the steak burgers and the other ones are the ground beef. Cause I did, I did look them up in Weight Watchers and the five ounce burger is 13 points. The six ounce burger is 10 points. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I was so confused over that. We are gonna be eating today, this is one of the five ouncer that I think is the actual, uh, the ground beef. Okay, we're ready to go. I have a, a piece of provolone cheese, some onions, some mayo on a little bun as you can see it's like perfect for the bun now I feel like before it would have been just hanging out let's try it as a burger that was pretty I must say everything I've had has been completely delicious uh, I still need to do the price comparison so okay time for final thoughts all the food I ordered was absolutely delectable and delicious would totally order and eat any of it again it all comes down to price. I found a three pack of filet for 25. So if you wanna, uh, the four, cause you figure it was four filets that you got with the bacon wrapped. So maybe 35, 40. The burgers were about eight to nine dollars that you could make four patties out of. I could have sworn my grocery store had apple tartlets. I know I've had them before, but when I went to do price comparison, I couldn't find them. So I'm gonna guesstimate maybe like eight bucks for a pack of four tartlets, probably around the same price for scalloped potatoes. I didn't find individual ones, but there was like a family size or even smaller, maybe like this big, that would be about the size of the four of them. That was again in that like $8 range. I couldn't find anything comparable to the asparagus souffles. So you gotta figure if it existed, it's probably in that eight to $9 range, as well as the pork, which I amazingly forgot to look at, but I'm gonna probably think it's about the same as the uh, ground beef. So you figure maybe 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, like 90 bucks for everything that was included. So could you buy what you got for cheaper at the grocery store? Yes. But again, it was all delicious. Uh, people don't like to grocery shop anymore. It gets delivered right to your door. So I think it's gonna come down to, if you have a gift card or you can get a really good sale like I did, give it a try. And until next time.